So here's what the order will do. Once illegal crossings surpass 2,500, as you see right here, it will bar migrants from requesting asylum. The restrictions will last until they dip below 1,500 per day. And right now, the daily average of encounters is around 4,000, which means this order will go into effect immediately. And a reminder, the border spans nearly 2,000 miles from Southern California all the way to Texas, which means the order will impact more than 300 points of entry. So there are questions tonight on whether the U.S. even has the manpower to make this a reality. Biden's executive order signals a massive shift in his political stance on immigration. The move, something he sharply criticized on the debate stage before becoming president. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. And those who come seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them, keep them safe until they can be heard. This is the first president in the history of the United States of America that anybody seeking asylum has to do it in another country. That's never happened before in America. So why the massive change? Well, here's one potential reason.